Welcome to this demonstration. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we at High Speed Web here have been doing with WHMCS modifying uh, the admin area. Uh, the latest version of WHMCS gave us a lot more flexibility on the back end and allowed us to do a lot more with customizing the admin area, which is where we all work. Um, so let's go ahead and look. You know, notice right off the bat, I've taken out this that annoying big header at the top. Um, we've already bought WHMCS and so we kind of didn't need it flashed in our face while we were working. We moved the intelligence search um, down back where it was off to the right and gotten rid of that whole, I mean we freed up a lot of that real estate at the top. Um, you'll notice up here at the top I've got the client area, the, my account log out and I've also added uh, my temp tickets and new tickets. One of the issues we have been having here is we want our tech support people when a call comes in to log a ticket for it so that we can have a record of the call and kind of can track it you know with the over the customer's lifetime with us. Uh, in previous versions it was rather annoying and bulky to do that and it was kind of a hassle and a lot, so a lot of uh, tech support guys would kind of skip out on that. So what we've done is we've made it very simple, very easy. You click on that, it opens up a little JavaScript box right here on the page. It's got all the information that you need. Um, those of you who have been using WHMCS for a while uh, noticed that in prior versions they had a big drop down box with all your customers in it where you needed to select which one the ticket was for or the invoice was for or whatever it was you were doing they needed to move away from that because as your client list gets a lot longer that page loads a lot slower and becomes more bulky and annoying to use so they had to move away from it however with what they what they replaced it with was a text box where you put in the customer number um, we don't memorize our customer numbers and so that is kind of an inadequate solution what we've done is taken that that box and made it an intelligent search. And we've done it not only here in the temp tickets, but everywhere in WHMCS where that where a box shows up where you've got to type in the customer number. And what it does is it allows us to type in a name or you know a domain name or whatever. I mean it's an intelligent search. It's kind of limited down because we had a problem with um, you know, if you're typing a customer number, it's also going to search on phone number and address. And so we've reduced it down to where it's just the main thing you're really going to search for. You click on that and it pops in their, their um, user ID in there for you. And then if you forget who it was, you just click on that again and it automatically searches for that number and it's going to find their ID. So it's really handy. Um, this is a support department's it automatically pulls from the webs or from the database. So this was dynamic based on you know what you've got going on with your own departments. Of course, you've got the priority settings. One of the annoying things that we found when we first did this was that when you open a ticket like this, if you don't change the setting, um, it sets it to open. And so you know they would make a ticket and then they'd have to go back into support and open that ticket and then close that ticket. So it was kind of a lot of extra steps. So I've added a drop down here where you can preset the status you want this to be. So you know a client calls up and says, give me my email settings. You do it, you set it to answered so that you know it's not gonna mess up your stats or anything. You don't have to go in and close it again. And you can put in a subject body. Um, when you're ready to submit it, you just click on this, pops up a little prompt, and allows you to submit the ticket. Um, one of the other cool things about this, though, is, you know, let's say you needed some more information for the ticket, you wanted to find out what their domain, you forgot what their domain name was, or whatever, you can just close it, go to a different page, and it's up here. And you just click on that, pulls it up, and there you were, wherever you're working. And it also allows you to delete them if you know you didn't need the ticket or 
messed up or whatever. And that's pretty much what we've done with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and let us know if any of that was of interest to you. Thanks.